Good kitten internet. I'm just returning to the game. I finished eating dinner. I just had um just a frozen pizza. Or part of a frozen pizza, I should say. Um I've sold some stuff off. I have a couple of things left to sell. Sold. I'm gonna sell something. Add it. Probably already here. So, um, I would show you my OneNote, except for some reason OBS is not able to capture my top monitor at all. I'm thinking I need to restart OBS, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to do the. I'm going to shut down my machine after I'm done. Also, took my medication along with my food, so I have to make sure I have to drink a fairly large amount of water. And yeah, um, so. We have a bunch of things. I also did some skill level ups, but not too many things. Um, it's mostly that I did Meditation Master here. Everything else we need to travel for. So we've got Master Mace and two Master Bodybuilding upgrades that we need to do. Those are all in Gorge. Uh, we have three different things in Ravage Roaming. We've got Master Mind, Grandmaster Perception, and Grandmaster Water. Those are all in rabbit roaming. Um, we have two people that need to do expert learning along with Master Light and Master Alchemy in the Murmur Woods. And then the rest of the things are pending other stuff. So yeah, first thing we're going to do is head over to Shadow Spire and complete our vampire promotion quest. Right here. Corbu. Um, oh, I need the sarcophagus. Where was the sarcophagus of course? Fire. I thought it was here. Um, Corbu MM8. Where is the sarcophagus? It's in a dumb spot, isn't it? It's also in Ravish Roaming. I. Oh, I must have just missed it. Oh, well, I will deal with that later. So, um, we are going to go to the Necromancer's Guild here. Mancer's Guild is there. That's right. Much easier to get to when we're flying. Oh, that's right. Everybody hates me here, don't they? Or not? Nope. Not everybody hates me. Okay. Go normal speed. Also, I noticed this. I don't know if they'll let me through, but I noticed it. Let's try it. Hello, vampire. I don't know why this is even here, but okay. So, um, we are going to go talk with. Move out of my way, please. It is not going to open. That's the actual farewell. People I need to talk to are on this side. So I am not allowed to enter any of those doors because reasons. I need to float up this little invisible platform and go a little faster. And talk to the head of the necromancers. The reason why I'm talking to them now is because I can. It's the only one of these quests that I can actually do. Oh, this is Dyson. How can anyone quest for power? How can anyone's quest for power bring him to participate in the horrors of the Dark Path? And yet, there's a whole house of them. Oh, they'll call themselves seekers of knowledge, but these magicians of death are, ab are abomination. Loathsome corruption incarnate. Only through my own fear can the foul Necromancer's Guild call itself my master. 
When I was young, all I wanted to do was join the Order of Light, to be a selfless servant of the good. As soon as I was of age, I entered the Temple of the Sun with a heart filled with the fire of purity. What a fool I was. If there's any goodness in the world, I have not seen it. There's certainly none in the halls of the Sun Temple. Hiding behind the righteousness of sanctity, Order members perform the worst crimes of greed and self-indulgence. If it were not so horrid, it would pass for something like irony. A few months ago, I was called to a private audience with the Sun Temple head priest, Oscar Tyre. As opposed to Oscar Meyer. He sent me on a mission of infiltration against the Necromancer's Guild. Become as they are, he said. Gain their trust while you bide their time waiting to give a, deliver a killing blow. Feed us their secrets. A too simple plan from too simple a leader. Oh, I did as he said, bathing myself in evil so I might seem evil. But it was as if the guild could see unto my heart. I was unmasked as a spy. Under threat of death, I now follow their orders. Join with you? An interesting idea, but what can you offer me? After all I've been through, I find myself consumed with a thirst for revenge. I would go with you, but I am unwilling to spend my efforts lightly. Give me an opportunity to hurt one of my enemies, the Cursed Temple of the Sun or the Abominable Necromancer's Guild, and I will travel with you gladly. So yeah, Dyson hates everybody. Um, <clears throat> he is key for either one of the promotion, or not promotion, um, alliance quests. Um, yeah. Oh, I did choose the wrong path, unfortunately. Don't worry, we're going to end up killing both of them, but... But, we need to do this first. Hmm... I think I've decided I'm gonna go with the necromancer side. Still not certain. Early on our conflict, the Sun Temple attempted to infiltrate our ranks with a spy. Such foolishness, thinking they could so easily deceive a host of dark magicians. It was child's play to unmask their agent, one Dyson Leyland. Since we have turned him against his former masters, or so it would seem. Frankly, I don't trust in his loyalty. Still, he's proven useful. As long as he does, we'll continue to let him live. So the Nightshade Brazier is basically, um, if you've ever watched classic Simpsons, um, Mr. Burns blocking out the sun, that's basically the Nightshade Brazier. It's effectively everything becomes night forever. And Vampires can walk through the daytime. So for the Alliance, Bastian Laudrin has been a great friend to the guild. Sadly, I must refuse his request at this time. Even as we speak, my guild is embroiled in a battle for its very survival. You, for you see, the Temple of the Sun has declared a holy war on us. Most of our members are away in the fields, either leading armies or raising zombies to surf in them. Wish I could say otherwise, but the accursed temple holds the upper hand. If only the balance would tilt in our favor. If we had the Nightshade Brazier back in our possession, Shadow Spire's defense would not be an issue. We could bring this war to the doors of the Sun Temple. We would annihilate them! Meh. Knowing its importance, the clerics keep the Brazier in a secure chamber deep within their temple. Dyson Leyland believes he can gain access to that chamber. Bring him to the temple, recover the Brazier, and return it to me. You want me in your alliance? Well, do this for me and I will be in your debt. If you have any questions about the Nightshade Brazier, ask Thant. It was he who created it. Oh yeah. So, their quest is to go grab the Nightshade Brazier and come back. That's it. It's actually probably the easier of the quests. Um, just so I don't have to do all of this again, I'm going to go grab Dyson now. I don't even know if I'm going to do that side of the quest. I might go with the clerics. I don't know. It's the problem that I, one of the things I don't like about this game is that everyone's a dick. There's no exception to this list. 
Sorry, I'm just alt tabbing so I can make sure I can actually see everything. I had up a couple of extra things. There we go. Okay. Um, everyone's a dick. I don't want to join any of their sides. Uh, the sole exception would be the dragons because, uh, I would gladly join you. My desire for revenge has been a thirst long in need of slacking. Slacking? I actually don't know how to pronounce that. You have provided me with the cup. Let us go and fill it. Group's too full for me. So he's going to head out to the Adventurer's Inn. Anyway, I am going to cause that to drop down. Try to get back in the condition green. I was just in it. Darn it. There. And portal my way out. So, we need to go both to the Murmur Woods and to Ravage Roaming. Ravage Roaming actually does have a town portal area, so I'm going to aim for that first. But it's hard to get there. Come aboard! Because I need a boat. And I can never actually get my boat working. The only other way to get there is to walk from a location that I have to walk to. So, oh, not a great combination. So, I think at the moment I'm going to head over to the Murmur Woods again. Um, Murmur Woods, easiest way to get there. Why do I keep using Town Portal on her? It is to walk from Avlar. She has almost as much MP as... That is ridiculous. She should not have that much MP. I know it's due to her level, but... Speaking of levels... Everyone's in their 30s, other than our ludicrously overpowered friends. Oh so yeah, walking over here will get us to the Murmur Woods. And I guess that's going to be where we go. Okay, now we're back in the Murmur Woods, probably in a more appropriate time to arrive here. First off, let's go ahead and boom! I trust nothing here, so I'm also going to pain reflect. Pro magic. Pro magic is kind of key for this area, although it doesn't stop being stoned. It will stop paralysis at least. And flight. Finally, let's also go invis for a little bit. So we can do a better scout of things, because we have not scouted this area much. So, oh, this is the other thing that's in there. Unicorns. I don't know it. Unicorns are very powerful. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna loot treasure chests. I have no idea what that is. I actually have no idea what most of this is, so I need to identify it. Enchantable. I think that's also enchantable, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna call that worthless. Leave it. Let's not leave, leave it. that. For that. Leave it. Let's leave solve it. it. Telekinesis scroll is not actually a bad idea. Anyway, get out of that jumbled mess. It's an Ankh with an immolation pedestal. I think that might have been a bad idea now that I think about it. Actually, let's make notes on the map. Immolation pedestal done. Let's go to the north. How long is Invis going to last me? 45 more minutes. Uh, immolation will die just before it will. Which is good to know. Okay, let's... I mean, at this point, I actually can fight most of the things here. I'm a lot more powerful compared to what I used to be. I didn't feel like it. Uh... 
don't want to accidentally hurt the priests with him militia up. That's why I said I might have made a mistake. Okay, there's the big arrow. Here's a well. That was not so refreshing. It did nothing because of Promage. Nice. Back up here. We cast Invis. This is the Portal of Air. I mentioned that before, I believe, but... Plane of Air. We're not going in there, by the way. Not for a while. It is one of the four dungeons, or four areas, it's not a dungeon. Four zones that you're required to go into in the game. More unicorns. Lots more unicorns. So much treasure, so little identification. Personality. There's no room. Okay. That. Another symbol. This is a heroism pedestal. Okay. Might as well hit it. Not gonna hurt. Here's a cave. With this. Oh, this is the ancient troll home. So, might as well go here. This is actually not a bad spot for us to hit. Let's go. Because we can take on basilisks at this point. I got it! Mostly because they don't really hurt that much. Dancing lights are more annoying. Especially since they don't drop loot. Yeah, Elder Basilisks and other types of Basilisks. Not that hard. Also, going to go ahead and cast Blood. I'm going to cast Terrorism because I think I'm better at it than the Pedestal. It was a dancing light. I didn't even have a spell for light elementals. Kind of ironic. Also, this area is totally another copycat. I don't remember which dungeon this was, though. Worthless. That's not worthless. Worthless. That's also this not worthless. useful. That's not worthless. useful. That's just valuable. Leave it. Mixing up the difference between useful and valuable. Worthless. Leave it. Okay. Uh, here. Hey, I'm up good. No, you're not. I should actually make sure Pro Madge is cast. It is cast. Okay, so it's not the that simple. It's oh, it's the runes on the skull. That's what it is. it is. Okay, so we got that. We're gonna go into these side passages where there's lots of enemies. I got it! Oh yes! Swift potion. That one's nice. Too bad it's not permanent. I would love to be able to Leave make it. things of swiftness reliably. Worthless. Leave it. Worthless. Worthless. Okay. 
Okay, the noise I'm hearing is rain outside. I think. Or it's my water. One of the two. Anyway, go to the other side and finish up this dungeon. Hey. Enemies here are not exactly too bad. Because indoors, these enemies are way easier to deal with. I like this ball. That's very Where valuable. Is. That's not worthless, but it's only worth the money. Worthless. Worthless. That's it. There's nothing else here. I could have swore there was something else here, wasn't there? Let me look this up. Control home might magic ain't. Is there anything else in here? No. No, there isn't. <sighs> I guess I just needed to come here. That's kind of boring and a bit disappointing. Again, this game has some issues when it comes to. Um, okay, that actually is a quick spell. No, it isn't. Heal him. He's weak in people. Yes. Might as well cast Regen on everybody. I'm going to do a lot more fighting in here, most likely. Alright, everybody should have Regen up. They do. When I get closer, I'll recast Invis because I don't feel like fighting outside here right now. I may do that later. But I didn't really want to fight all of that at once. Let's label this. Home home. I don't know what good that's going to do me, but that's less obvious in my mind. Here's the Grand Temple of the Sun, which we need to walk into. Barrels have refilled. I'm pretty sure I've already done those. Go back. Finish scouting. Wish it was more obvious when I found a capitalized tree. Because now I actually have somebody who has repair items, so I can actually hit some of these trees. Right, and straight up is the last part of the map that I haven't gone through. And that's it. The map is, oh, well, not quite completely discovered, but very shortly will be. This huge area of enemies. We will eventually wipe everything out, for reference. Oh, I think this edge. And then the exact work. Now I've gotten everything. Alright. This will expire momentarily. And... Landing, it's after night. Oi. Grandmaster Spirit. Grandmaster Mind, Grandmaster Body. Master Light is behind me. There we go. I've got that now, which is nice. Wait. Expert learning. There. Working finally. Anyone else? I may have missed one of these. Master Alchemy.
Master Regen. Which can only be learned by trolls, if I remember right. Same with Grandmaster. Okay. And now let's go talk to... Spell points have not changed. Yeah, okay, so you're purely int based. Okay, get everybody's personality up. And enter the Temple of the Sun. Come on, let's go in. So again, everybody's friendly to us right now. This won't last, mind you. I don't know. So these are what the acolytes look like. I don't know. It's definitely easier to fight these folk than it is anybody else. So, you were sent by Bastion Laudrin. Well then, what would he have us here? Well, just look at his pose. Looks like an... And he had... Certainly the elemental unrest concerns us greatly. Why one need travel... Why? One need travel only a short distance north of our temple to see a great maelstrom of unnatural duration theory. But sadly, we have other matters pressing. The sick horror that is the Necromancer's Guild must be blighted from this land. We wage holy war on the evil in Shadow Spire. Our entire spirit and power goes into the campaign we wage against Sandro and his minions. Till that is done, we cannot entertain participation in your alliance. So, to give you an idea, good declared war on evil, not the other way around. Evil was actually fine with just sitting there not, and having good not do anything. And yes, I know the whole all evil needs to do to triumph is to have good do nothing type of thing but seriously they why evil was not actually if you look around it's not like they're talking about the necromancers reanimating corpses that didn't ask for it or anything like that anyway then again we could spare some resources for your alliance if the war would turn in our favor perhaps you could be our ancient of fortune inside the necromancers guild is a vice known as the skeleton transformer Converts living creatures into skeletons, which the Dark Mages use for the bulk of their reinforcements. If it were destroyed, we would quickly have the upper hand. We have an agent, Dyson Leyland, placed in their guild. Find him and make him and find him and help him to wreck their skeleton making device. Do this and I will consider your request more favorably. I totally forgot to bring him with me. I don't know. I don't even think I can go anywhere in here without him. We'll find out really fast. I think they'll yell at me if I go too far. Yeah. I can't do anything in here. Unless I have Dyson with me. Oy, I messed that up. I should have brought him with me. Welp. I'm going to rest for the night because I don't really have a choice. I have nothing else that I can really do right now, right? I mean, I can go by the stone circle and go kill things outside, but that's about it. Let's go after some things, shall we? How much damage our Lich actually takes from everything. It's ridiculous. Oh, I cast Regen instead of healing. Okay. Just look at it. It's ridiculous how much damage they take. I mean, it doesn't help that he has next to no hit points. So yeah, we can go fight things, but 
don't know how much good that really does us. Also, yes, unicorns are also ranged attackers. Unicorns actually have a fairly large amount of hit points, too. But there's nothing really to do here. I don't think they give much in the way of expert many things. They drop loot, but the loot that they drop is kind of garbage. Can't carry it. Wow. Worthless. Leave it. Leave it. Animate? I already know it. Worthless. Inferno. Another Atlas. spell learned. Leave it. Blades. Another spell learned. Atlas. Leave it. Leave it. Prince damage from drowning. Ugh. This is annoying. Kind of tim. Good luck. Way. This will be added. Now I only need one more intellect. That I think I could pull off. Do you have anything plus intellect left? You do, actually. Why didn't I think of just swapping that one in? Okay, well, I have somebody who can master learning now. You can't because it's not in ability. You can't, it's also not in your ability. Okay. Anyway. There's no real reason to fight the anything here. Not giving much of anything. With the Will-O-Wisps flying, it also means that I can't ICBM them. Unicorn herd leaders. See what I mean? Just kind of boring to fight. Taking their loot. Just kind of boring. Yeah. Not worth it. Just gonna fly away. Go rest. Sleep somewhere for the night, then come back in the morning. I should have brought Leyland with me. I don't want to reload all the way back that far. Where the heck's the inn? I thought that was the end, but that's definitely a field of light. That's not the end. No, they have one. There it is. Join the party. <sighs> Just out of curiosity. Glamour. Join the party. It's still 40 gold. I really don't understand the point of Glamour. The only characters who can cast it are the same ones who can cast, um, or who can use Grandmaster Merchant. Good luck sleeping. Uh, okay. We need to get light magic spells. All of them. This is the only place in the entire game that you can get light magic. Just like Shadow Spire is the only place in the entire game you can get dark magic. So. The library of magical knowledge. What do you got? Light Bolt. Paralyze. Hour of Power. Day of Protection. Day of the Gods. Okay, I got all the ones that I desperately need. I have no more room. We're going to pick up Divine Intervention also, but. Okay. 
Now I get it. Now if I get eventually, it. I'll just have to hold on to, but... Now I get it. I mostly wanted to get the spells that... Run. No, that's reanimate. It's getting sold. I mostly wanted to get the spells I'm actually going to use, and those are the ones I will actually use. Okay. Also, I need to actually promote my stupid priest. I keep forgetting to do that. Cast fly for me. Thank you. There we go. You have found the lost prophecies of the sun? I've had it for most of the game. May the light forever shine upon you, and may the prophet guide your steps. With these, we may be able to find the answer to what has befallen Jadam. By the way, that's the last that you heard of here of the prophecies. They never mention a single thing for the rest of the game. But we now have a priest of the sun. Which means she's technically capable of grandmastering lots of things. So yay for her. Yep, she can level up once. Yeah, my lich can't even level up once. Um but yeah, that doesn't actually buy us much of anything other than now I actually can do Grand Mastery. Whereas I was just prepping to do it before. Um, the Grand Mastery's here is the problem, so I'm going to have to walk back here anyway. Ugh. I think I'm going to go walk to Ravage Roaming. I don't think there's anything else for me to do. Let's double check something really fast. Right. You can now turn portal just as easy. So yeah, up here to the south is Ravage Roaming. Or is um Groat Gorge. Which I guess I do need to head back to again, but eh. Oh, let's look at our actual quest log. So these are the Alliance quests. That's fine. Um, get the Skeleton Transformer, Nightshade Brazier. I've found the Ancient Troll homeland, so I can return to the Iron Sand Desert. I'm not going to do that until I actually need to go to the Plane of Fire, which is coming up. Um, need to grab the Sarcophagus of Corbu, which is in Ravish Roaming. Or not Ravish Roaming. Um, in Groat Gorge. That is in Regna. Eclipse is in... The Necromancer's Guild. So I'll go do that soon. I need fire resistance potions still. Um, Gert Gorge. I need to finish the taverns. This is in Ravage Roaming. That's the last one. And that's it. That's all I've got. So, yeah. I can walk to Gert Gorge. But what I want to do is check to see if I can boat to it. Ravish roaming. I can. Good. That's going to save me some time. Peel doesn't actually say anything, by the way. So, welcome to Ravage roaming. I thought I hit the map button. I hit N. That's why. We're in a tiny corner of the map. So, Hello. ogres live here. Ogres are friendly. Ogres are friends in this game. I will buy wyvern horns from you for 1500 gold so yep uh actually i'm going to mark that on my map there we go i'm at 40 minutes okay a bullseye in something to drink you know what it's time for um tower 150 resources 400 oof at least you start with a lot of resource production.
Five. Hold up power some more. don't understand why the audio glitches happen that did not happen in the original game yeah, no as, or, this is the original game and it did not happen on the original hardware again i keep going back and forth as to whether it would have been worth it for me to set up some original hardware i mean i have the computing deducken project which i suppose would actually count as close enough to original hardware this would have been ideal for windows 98 I definitely have the hardware for it. I have that thing client. My magic's higher. I've mostly figured out how the AI plays this, <coughs> outside of the fact that I think they're cheating, but, um, really? Dropped it down that low. Um, basically, if they have no wall, their priority becomes building a wall, no matter what. That's why they built a wall then, and they didn't build a wall last round, because they didn't have a way of building one. That's my theory, at least. I don't have much to go along with it. Terrible light. That's a less terrible light. Damage tower. Ugh. Terrible cards. That's not bad. Um, they seem to have other priorities beyond that. Okay, yeah. Now I'm gonna strip mine, then cop the tech. Which gives me plus five quarry, yes. Foundations to get my wall back. I also prefer to make sure that I have at least something in wall. Even if it's not much. Wall's huge. But my priorities are a little more block based of Sure, I will take even more magic. More quarry, because why not? Yep. I wall now, sucker. And I will damage your tower. Now they'll play, try to play a wall if they can. They couldn't. That me to me says they don't have a wall right now. Wow, they really don't have any wall cards. There's a wall card. Need to get to 150. Which I'm not trying any plus tower stuff, unfortunately. Most unfortunate. Oof. Dragon. Yeah, go ahead and throw up a wall. Now I get foundation. Oh, just need 39 or 29 more wall. 26. There's a plus one wall. As I mentioned, they will do wall if they can. Now, tremor. 
fix that a little bit. Grab even more recruits. Foundations is good. They, I think they might be beating me on some things. That's not good. I am not drawing the correct stuff. Luckily, they messed up. That's fine. I need wall. That's safe. So these are the two that I'm looking at that I think I'll win on. I'm a little concerned about this. So let me think. So there's 134 down. 134 divided by 12 is a little bit off of 144, so that's 11 and change. So it'll take them 12 turns. For me, 12 turns is 96. Yeah, I'm going to get it first. Okay. So as long as I don't spend any recruits at this point, I should win. Would be me. Be dumb. Sure. That was bad timing. That's okay. Yeah, these are safe to play. Safe to play. Also, if I get 16 more tower, I win. If I get 11 more tower, I win. Yeah, that's safe to play. Four more tower. Eight more tower. That's all I need is eight more tower or two turns. There's one turn. And there's a second turn. I win at the start of this turn. I think. Done. Right. Uh, what are you? How am I doing on time? 47 minutes. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, that's enchantable, actually. That's not the worst. It's not great, but it's not the worst. That is actually worthless. I mean, it's worth money, but... Alright, Vicious House. Followers of Eep. I don't know where they're at, but there's some of the rat men around here somewhere. At night, I hear all sorts of squeaking and scuffling outside. In the morning, pretty much everything that isn't under lock or bolted down is gone. If I knew where that Eep church was. If I knew where that Eep church was. Uh, I'd take some of my boys over there for a little... Oh. I do like the design of this town. It's a mountainside town, which is actually fairly unique. So, good job on them for actually thinking about things here. Burial Mound, which is haunted. Potion of pure accuracy. Of course, I have ingredients. I don't know who I want to give this to, though. Accuracy 35, accuracy 107. I think I'm going to give it to her. Or him. Give it to her. Just because I've given her pretty much every other potion. Right. We had those two forged credit vouchers that we just sold for like 10,000 each, I think it was. Which is nice. Alright. Bye. Let's go. It's also safe because this game's been crash happy. I don't so, know. These have Gorgons. For magic. If I remember right, they don't have ranged attacks. Oh wow, that was a lot less squishy than I remember. Or, a lot more squishy than I remember. I remember the Gorgons being really hard to defeat. 
Maybe I'm just doing that much more damage now. <clears throat> I know that you don't want to melee them. They are actually fairly difficult to fight in melee. Cracked everybody. And let's do our usual. Ready. Right, immune to magic. Are they immune to dragon breath magic? No match for me. No. It means they're probably also not immune to the other dragon breath. Yes, they are. That's weird. Yes. What element is we that then? It. Matchup. Damn, I'm good. I got it. It is down. It is down. Nope. nope. Let's not get hit by them, please. Gorge taken care of. Now there's a whole bunch of loot here. If I remember right, there's at least one artifact in that, those set of chests. Let's find out. Money and gems. Even more money. Things I don't need. Even more money. Even more money and gems. Maybe this was just money and gems and not artifacts. I thought there was at least one artifact in here though. Money and gems. And there's somebody right next to me. I like this. There's the artifact. I think that one's a constant. That one's always in there. I can put that in my left hand. Maybe I should. So, I can. So, currently, recovery time's 31. Goes up to 34. That's actually not that bad. And I do a lot more damage this way. Yeah. Well, it's not a lot. It's only five to nine more damage. A little weird. And my AC plummets, but I actually have a positive luck stat and my hit points increase, so probably worth it. I think judicious measures always in there. Yeah, just how many enemies there are here. That's my one problem with Ravish Roaming is that there's just full of them. Also, you can see the map border for some weird reason. I'm just trying to get them all closer. 
Uh, time, 55 minutes, okay. I mean, I'm just going to be exploring the map. I'm not going to go into any dungeons. Your attention. Everybody down into the valley. I actually got hit. All right. Right there. Boom. Really wish I had a second lich with me right now. I love how the dragon's uh, the dragon's breath weapon itself doesn't count as an element. And Gorgons are immune to all magic except for dragon's breath as a spell, but not the dragon breath ability. I don't understand. I can't let them get away. I don't have telekinesis after all. some cows, don't mind me. I seem to remember there's a lot of capitalized trees in this general area. I really don't understand the obsession with the game developers and capitalizing trees. Indicate that there's something there. Obelisk. And on the plus side, these uh, Gorkins actually give halfway decent XP if I remember right. Yeah, everybody can level up now, including Kauri. Got that. We have covered the bottom part of the map. Test of accuracy. Kauri actually won one this time. Can I do anything with the kind of skill points? Yeah, not so much. I don't worry about that. This is Balthazar Lair. We will be going in there next time, not this time. This is the Temple of Eep. Looks like a roll of cheese slash Pac-Man. I have no idea what that is. Romage. Not mean to do that, that's fine. I don't know. And an antique leather armor just sitting on the ground for some reason. As you do. Yeah, Ravish Roaming is weird in its loot. Leave it. Hitting N instead of M. Worthless. And it's money. A weird leather armor just sitting around doing nothing. As you do. Hello, Gorgon. Okay. So, um, by the way, this is the game that I actually figured out how to disassemble. Um, I took some notes from somebody and using a program that they had created to this is where the uh, plane of water is. Um, their notes where they had figured out, by the way, do I actually have Ephraim? I do. 
Not one hour now. I could probably run in and grab Grandmaster and run out. This is a plan. Let's do it. Um, so time to introduce you to the elemental planes. Because nothing stopped you from going into here early. If you saw how water swimming and stuff worked before, by the way, it's your friend. Um, if you saw how water and swimming stuff worked in Might Magic 7, this should be awfully familiar. Except for dragon turtles. And dead fish. Or fishies. I can reanimate the fish. The madness pulls up my very soul. Each day is a st struggle to maintain sanity. I will help you while I can, but be prepared to f flee. What has happened to my home waters? All are c consumed by madness. And worse, our lord is m missing. Where is our ruler, the, the mighty Aquawadlander? Without him, we are doomed. So yeah, all of the water mantles are going crazy, basically. There's a reason for this. You'll see a pattern. But I am here on a mission. So I mean, at this point, I can probably fight everything here. The dragon turtles would be hard, but hard is not impossible. Also, I think that there's a couple of areas that I can... You're an empty house, Drat. A couple of areas I can recast my invis. Just need to find where they are. Your river glasses house. Not what I'm looking for. So this is basically a giant maze area. I have four minutes left, oh dear. Yep. Now all hell's gonna break loose and everything can fly. I once more hit the stupid empty house. Not what I wanted to hit. Yes, even though I'm swimming, I can't go above flight height for some reason. Um, I'm just going to run back and then recast Invis. Okay. Invis. Oh, well, that's an edge of the world. I'm trying to do this fast because I'm just trying to run in and talk to one person and run out, basically. Here's the one I can go over. A lot of water elementals here. Dragon turtles are nasty. Here's the one that I want to talk to. Grandmaster Water Magic. Yes, please. That's all I wanted to do here. There's more things that you can do here, may I note? I just don't want to do them right now. I was just trying to get Grandmaster Water Magic and nothing more. So yeah, unlike Might Magic 7, you don't need a wetsuit or anything. Surprise, you could just enter the plane. Nothing stops you. Not exactly realistic, I'm aware. Alright, our first Grand Mastery. Um, we have covered the bottom half of the map. I think this is a good place to stop. Uh, no, you know what? I'm going to finish the map. Also, because it's not going to take me that much longer to finish the map. We have Wyverns. You remember those from... Uh, Might Magic 7, don't you? They're the same. 
They literally did not change them. Mine resistance pedestal. Let's map that. I misspelled resistance, didn't I? I'm gonna abbreviate it like that. And pedestal is another one of those words I have problems spelling, which is the reason why I abbreviated that as well. This is the Crypt of Corbu. I'm going to label. And yes, that is the other part of the quest that we need to do for the vampire promotion. We can't town portal back here yet, because technically the town portal's not here, it's in Balthazar Lair. Like this. I mean, wyverns aren't going to be that hard for us to fight at this point, it's just... I don't want to. Never seen and ogres one. are the last thing. Because this is an ogre camp. And yes, there are entrances into the camp. Barbarian Fortress is the way it's phrased. I have no idea what that is. I'm Need pretty it. sure none of this is stuff that I particularly want out of the ring. I mean, it's not worthless, it's just I don't want it. I'm going to stop it here. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'm not going to resume this for another few days, so hopefully me from the future will remember to look at this video. Bye for now! Bye. Helps if I alt tab to the correct application.